They say that necessity is the mother of invention, but in Rayvon Stewart's case, it was born out of compassion. Five years ago, more than 40 babies born in Jamaican hospitals became infected with a lethal bacteria. Half of them died. Babies were dying. They found out that it was a bacteria called Klebsiella that was killing all these newborn babies. It was just sad that so many mothers had to be going through this. It really tore me up and I knew I had to find a solution for this problem. Ravon was determined to do something to stop such infections spreading again. He came up with a device called Zermasol, which automatically disinfects door handles using ultraviolet light. We use special kind of lights to kill the bacteria and viruses. So we chose a spectrum of the UV light that was not harmful to humans, but was harmful to these bacteria. The UV light surely breaks up the bacteria, making them inactive over a short period of time. It actually, quote unquote, burns them so that the UV light actually stops these bacteria and viruses from multiplying. Ravon was shortlisted for last year's Health Innovation Awards hosted by the Commonwealth. There he met the Secretary-General, Baroness Scotland. She thinks his invention could play a crucial role in fighting the coronavirus pandemic and needs all the investment it can get. To have a young man identify a significant problem for us globally and to come up with a simple to install device was amazing. And the innovation was brilliant. And I could see that it could be used in so many extraordinary settings because it kills 99.9% of the germs. And just look at how important that invention is now, that we are faced with the most frightening coronavirus pandemic. And here, his invention has the potential to dramatically improve the opportunities for so many of us. Ravon made his first prototype in November 2018 and has sold models to two of the largest hospitals in Jamaica. He's now hoping to attract more funding so that his invention can go into mass production.